Well, good morning everybody and welcome to another Full Scale Fishing Adventures episode. Uh, camped overnight on the river last night so I could be here early for a surface session. Um, it is a beautiful morning so fingers crossed something happens. Um, once it gets a little bit lighter, I'm um, going to untie the boat, push off and start casting. Now there's a massive snag just up here that I'm going to go cast first and then I'm going to work downstream I think. So what I'm throwing, Komodo combo, 273 reel, six foot six, medium heavy. And it's got 30 pound braid and a 60 pound leader. And I'm just fishing a little bit smaller because it's a smaller river, a little bit easier to cast in the tighter spots. I'm just throwing a hunchback at the moment. Beautiful little surface lure, awesome little setup. Hopefully it gets us a fish. Very good. Big fish snag. Go there once and get him. Never get him again, but always worth fishing. <laughs> Looked too good not to have one in there. Because he jumped out of the water for it. <laughs> oh. Is he going to come back? Oh, no, didn't get it. Oh, no, did I get him? No, it came off. Oh. <laughs> Damn. Mm -mm. He's excited. Because I've got so much river to fish, I'm going to skip the stuff that's in the bright sun at the moment. Like there's a corner just down here which will be in the shade, so shoot down and get out of the sun. Oh! 
Oh. Got him. Oh. Oh. Had to happen eventually. Oh. <laughs> he absolutely exploded on that. <laughs> Man. That was a big boof for a little fish. Oh, check him out. Absolutely thin, perfect. Super cool. First fish. Had to get a bite eventually. Off he goes. <clears throat> oh, a little guy. <laughs> I think it was a little guy. Good boof. Good house. See if he'll come back. Definitely a good bull. Got him. Yeah. <laughs> oh, a little bit smaller than the last one. Still cool though. Come back for a second crack. <laughs> oh. How you going, buddy? Check him out. Just a little guy, but check out the location. Beautiful native fish. So cool. All right. Let's get him big. Hooks out of him. See you, little guy. He's gone. Well, after an incredibly slow start, a couple of boofs in not that long a period. Good to be chasing the shadows. Digging it <laughs> right in the heavy cover. And this little guy has just creamed it. He's a nice one. Beautiful fish. He's angry. He's grumpy. Choked. Choked the hunchback. Choked it. Just absolutely stunning patterns on this one. So cool. Check out his eye. Very nice. Absolutely beautiful fish. Look at guys. Well, that's pretty cool. It's nine o'clock in the morning. Um, still getting surface boofs. It is just the all time day on the river, so. Looking forward to seeing what else is going to happen. Uh, 
All right, it is surface time done and dusted. Um, I'm gonna chuck some subsurface stuff around now during the middle of the day. So I'm gonna fish one of the TT froggers, black and red, and also Dino 90 on the other rod. And I can just chop and change depending on what I feel at the time, or if I get a bite, it gives me the opportunity to chuck something different at the fish. But I think I'll start with the spinnerbait, just because I enjoy fishing spinnerbaits. Stunning day, absolutely stunning day. I think I like spinnerbaits so much because they get eaten on the drop so often. And the drop bite is such a good bite. So I'm throwing the frogger around on the Cirrus 5 to 12 kilo, 6 foot 6. It's just a nice length rod for this sort of smaller, tighter water. Because sometimes you don't have a lot of room to cast. Oh! Uh. Oh, I came off. <laughs> that was wicked. The mega bite drop. Drop bite, I should say. <laughs> Nailed it. That is the cod house and a half. Really? It's amazing. That is a big fish log if I've ever seen one. Come out and eat the surface little. It'd be awesome. I think that was a good idea to keep the surface lure on because there are some spots like this that just scream surface that are way easier to fish with surface. Um, and being such a small windy river, you're always going to end up with shady spots. Oh, absolutely drilled it. Oh, in behind the snag. In there. Man, did it smash it. Put up a big boil too. <laughs> I don't think he's coming back somehow. Got it. Oh. <laughs> Thought there was gonna be one in there. Very cool, stunning little fish on the spinnerbait. 
absolutely beautiful colors. Oh, check it out. He is beautiful. He's gonna do the crocodile roll. Got him. Very cool. Very, very cool. Love these fish. All right, well, that was cool. Got a bite in the root ball in the background and then chucked at that one and another one was there. Awesome. Let's go. Amazing the amount of hits you get on the drop fishing a spinnerbait. Especially in the current too, where you can just like hold it upstream of the snag and the blades are just working the whole time. Backside of the snag. It's really cool. Last couple of bites. Well, I've just noticed that, um, yeah, the backside of the snag not sitting head into the current, just in the calmer pocket at the back. Very nice. Cool fish. Very cool fish. Oh, hey, buddy. You gonna do the crocodile roll? Yep. Oh, chunky one on the spinnerbait, sitting behind the snag. Super cool, they're such a pretty fish. Hit hard, only small, but hit very hard. Good fun being out in the wilderness, chasing these guys, so cool. All right, let's get him back. You ready, buddy? I think he's ready. Back pocket. Front of this one. Yep, got him. Oh, knew there was going to be one in there. That's a better one. Oh, yeah. Very cool, very, very cool. That's a very nice one on the spinnerbait. Spot locked myself. Very nice fish. Check this guy out. The root balls have been producing. It's drifting the spinnerbait down in front of the root ball. Just been smashing it. That's a super nice fish. All right, let's get him back. It's a really nice fish. He's gone. hot part of the day to do a long drive up past the car so it should give us afternoon session um, and then a really good morning session I've passed some really really nice logs so fingers crossed on prime time one of them produces but um, I think for the next I don't know hour or so till that sun starts to fade it's gonna fish spinner baits up through some of these um, logs up through here.
I'm feeling I get a big bobber on the top. All right. I think it's that time. You know, just gonna grab this rod and lure and fish with this for the next two sessions and not change unless a whopper steals it Got him. Yeah, yeah. Oh, well, that was very cool. <laughs> Whoo, jigged it in the scunge pocket. <laughs> good bite. A really good bite. Well, we are on board for the Arvo session. He's a nice one. Check him. He's angry. Of course he's angry. Oh, that's a really nice one. How cool. Boofed it in the scunge pocket. It's become a bit of a theme as I run into some sticks. Beautiful fish. I know I say that every time, but they are. Trouble is, you never know just when a big bang is going to come out and smash it. It's 4.30 now, and usually after 4 is surface time. Don't mind the old drop and twitch. I think it's good if you got time. And especially with the hunchback, it's pretty easy to do. Had a lot of bites doing that. <laughs> I was so due for a bite. I was admiring this big old log here. He must have followed it a long way out. Well, awesome day today. Great to catch some fish. Just enjoying the fire. It is a beautiful river evening this evening. Not a breath of wind. Um, and yeah, gonna roll out swag, get up, got a surface session in the morning, and we will see if we can't make it happen.
It's a beautiful morning for it. I just came back up a little bit upstream, so I've got a good set of logs for this morning to start straight on. We'll see if it makes a difference or not. I'm always interested because sometimes you get all the effort to get somewhere amazing and it's terrible. And then other times when you just go with the flow and end up where you end up, you get fish. So I don't know. Makes me feel better being next to good logs though. I missed that fish last night and he was there again. Ah, oh, it's funny sitting on the back side of that snare. Missed the hooks again. <laughs> My hooks are sharp. I'm glad I'm leaving because the kookaburras are calling and they predict this big rain bomb with big hail and stuff tomorrow. So, good day to get out. Did that, absolutely drill that in there. Oh, oh spot like myself. Wow, oh, hey. Well, that was cool, that was really cool. Check out that sunrise, spectacular. What a fish. Oh, that is very, very awesome. Check him out. It's a really nice one. A bit of leader tangle there. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Check out that amazing sky. What a way to start the day. Oh, so good. So good. Sort of spot you throw the tremor at, really. Oof. It's funny logs like that. Yeah, very rarely do you get bites off them, but I'm sure if you did, it would be a whopper. That is such a big log. Oh. 
<laughs> Smallest fish on the biggest log, but the biggest heart. Oh, he followed that right out and demolished that. You are crazy fish. Crazy. He just absolutely, absolutely walloped that. Oh, that was awesome. Such a cool bite, buddy. Such a cool bite. All right. Off he goes. That was rad. That was so good. Oh, <laughs> a little chopper. Right at the back. They sit in some shallow water. Oh, got him. No, missed him again. Oh, look like, yeah. Oh, what is he doing? He's chasing it. There he is. Ah, oh, it's amazing. So aggressive. The lure was like tangled underwater and he was chasing it. That was nuts. Come on, big old log this one. All the bits are in the water. Geez, they're on the chew this morning. Now on the chew. And again on the downstream side of the snag. Fishing in the flow really makes you have to plan your casts. Makes you think about what you're doing. You know, you just if you're going through a bit that's got quite a bit of flow, you got to make the decision on which cast you're going to take because you can't make them all, unfortunately. One of those root balls had to have a fish on it. <laughs> Sitting right in the zone, right where you'd expect him to be. It's 
see if we'll come back. <laughs> Twitching in front of the little root pile. <laughs> little chuffer. There's always going to be one in there. How cool is he? Just boofed it right in the uh, gnarly stuff. Oh. Super cool. Can I my lower back? Here we go. Cool fish. Right in a scunge pile. Well, that is it. If you enjoyed the episode, make sure you give us a like, leave a comment, and subscribe to the channel. I'll catch you all next time.